Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Try New Things, where today we're going to be working on a restoration project for my daughter. Now, it'll be today and many days hereafter, uh, but it'll all be in one video. But she, uh, she had us pick up this mid-century fireplace, and she wants me to restore it. Uh, there is a base that goes underneath of it that's already at the house, uh, hammering it into shape. But yeah, we're going to completely disassemble this and restore it and repaint it and put it back together. So stay tuned and uh, see how it goes. So my strategy in restoring the mid-century fireplace is to start at the bottom and work my way up. What you see here is the base and it's, uh, it's completely rusted and bent out of shape. And um, my plan is to clean the, the rust off it to begin with, the loose rust and then soak it in evaporust for a couple days. Hopefully I can get the two pieces apart and that will give me access to then try to beat it back into shape and uh, get rid of all those, those dents around the perimeter. So that's where we're gonna start today. All right, we're gonna start the evaporust soak for a couple days and uh, see how this thing turns out now that we got a lot of the loose rust knocked off it. All right, it's time to uh Take the base out of the evaporust. We'll get this rinsed off and see how it looks. So we're finally making some progress on the uh, mid-century modern fireplace. So I got the, uh, the pieces completely off. Now it's time to start really cleaning these up and then uh, preparing to refinish them. Here's a look from the other angle of the different parts. That uh, unpaid in section is one we, we purchased because one was missing. But it'll get painted to match uh, everything else. Had to drill out every single bolt uh, they were rusted, completely solid, and half disintegrated, so they were actually pretty easy to drill out. But, uh, yeah, some progress made today, finally. But look how disgusting this log base is. Pretty gross and dirty, so the next thing we're going to do is get that cleaned up and uh, prepare to refurbish that component of the fireplace. So stay tuned, we'll get it cleaned up, and we'll check back in and show you how it turns out. So we're back at the vintage mid-century fireplace restoration and uh, things are going quite well. I know it looks like it's a bit of a mess because it is a bit of a mess. Uh, there's a number of spots where either it had rusted or more often than not the enamel had cracked off and, and spalled off. So I'm going through with some Bondo and fixing up the spots that didn't rust through, areas that did rust through. I used JB Weld to replace the missing metal. But it's coming along. It's a big mess. A lot of sanding. Got a lot of dust. A lot of used sandpaper. But uh, eventually it'll be complete. Over there on the table you can see I got the pipes done. Uh, the two green ones uh, around the ridges is where 
most of the uh, spalling and cracking of the uh, of the enamel took place. So those are bonded all the way around um, each of those two older pipes. And the gray one you see is the new pipe we purchased. So didn't need any bondo, just got it primed. And then that, uh, what looks like an angled flat screen there, that's the heat deflector that goes inside of the hood. So we're getting closer to ready for paint. Uh, probably the next update will be at least me doing the primer. So stay tuned. A lot more to come on the mid-century fireplace. All right, so here we are on the progress with the vintage fireplace. So I did two coats of, uh, well, I did some Bondo work, and then I did, uh, sanded that down, did two coats of primer, and then with the primer on it, revealed a couple other blemishes that I wanted to touch up. So I went back, a little bit more Bondo, a little bit more sanding, and uh, touched up those areas that I wanted uh, to look just a little bit better. And now we're going to put a final coat or two of primer on here. And then it's ready for wet sanding in preparation for final paint. So it's coming along. It's been a long journey, but it's still, still moving along. We'll get this fireplace done for sure. All right, we're entering the next phase of the restoration of the mid-century modern fireplace. Now, this is the phase that's, for me, the most expensive and the scariest. So my daughter has picked out a very particular color that she wants the uh, fireplace to be when it's finished. And here it is. So I know you can't really tell from this, but the title is 1972 Datsun Avocado Metallic 113 is the color that she chose that she wants the fireplace painted. And uh, this particular jug here came in at $125. So I'm hoping I don't screw it up, which is a real possibility because last time I used a paint gun, it exploded on me and I had paint all over myself and all over the place looking for that not to happen again this time. So cross our fingers, hoping for some better luck. Let's get set up and ready to paint. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also ordered some uh, clear coat. Uh, it should be here this week and that's another 50 bucks. So we're up to about $300 into this restoration and many months of procrastination. Uh, but hopefully in the near future, I'm gonna wrap up this project, wrap up this video, and share with you the entire experience of restoring a mid-century modern fireplace and actually see it when it's completed and hopefully it looks as good as my daughter wants it to. All right, stay tuned, painting is next. That looks done, but that did not go according to plan. Let me step in closer and show you. I've had a strange reaction in places with the paint. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I've got alligator cracking I gotta figure out. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're getting ready for round two on the 1972 metallic avocado green paint so in the last clip i showed you the problems i had with the first go this time i went back re-sanded everything and reprimed it but this time i went out and got a uh, two-part primer which hopefully will make a difference because it it wasn't cheap but let me show you what i used on here this time So here it is, Speedo Line Prime, two-part primer. And uh, I went ahead and put on four coats, uh, hopefully just to make sure. 
taking the time to sand between each coat. But today is the true test. I'm going to try the green again. So let's see how it works this time. Fingers crossed. This time will be the last time because I'm going to run out of that green paint if, if this doesn't work. everybody I'm super happy to say it looks like the paint worked this time so getting the good primer putting multiple coats taking a little bit more time on the prep apparently paid off it also cost uh, that, that primers not cheap but we ended up doing four coats of primer sanding in between two coats of the 1972 avocado green Datsun paint and then two coats of diamond clear uh, for a clear coat on there and it's looking pretty good. It's not perfect, but I'm pleased It's probably the best kind of job that I can do not a professional painter So the next step then is to get a little bit of help and get this assembled and We'll show you that next and we'll wrap up the video after the fireplace is back in place I'll put together show you what it's like Well, it's the moment that some of us have been waiting for the mid-century modern fireplace restoration is now complete. Uh, we came out here earlier in the week, my daughter and I, and we assembled it and uh, put it together. So I'm going to take the camera now and I'm going to take you in there and show you how it turned out. I'm pretty pleased. Hopefully you, uh, you think we did a pretty good job as well, but stay tuned. You're going to want to see how it turned out. And here it is, the final product. We went with the uh, green and black, so the base, which is cast iron, and it's on a donut shaped little uh, platform which you'll see at the beginning of the video. Everything uh, on the base and the inside is finished in gloss black. And then the hood and the pipes are finished in 1972 Datsun Metallic Avocado Green which my daughter picked out. So pretty pleased with how it turned out. Took a long time. We had some, uh, some hiccups along the way but we adapted and overcame. And uh, yeah, so there's our mid-century modern fireplace. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It certainly took a long time to get the project done. So do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. And if you've got any comments or questions, as always, leave them below. I love reading them and I will do my best to answer each one as best as I can. And until next time, thanks for joining TNT. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.